Welcome to the Apocalypse Survivor. Today I'll take you through my beginner's guide to State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition. If you're looking for an overview of the game, you can find that by clicking the link on the screen. In this installment, I'm going deeper into the gameplay to give folks new to the game a jump start on their journey into this dynamic zombie thriller. Seasoned players may find tips as well to help you survive and thrive. Without further delay, let's get started. First step in State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition is creating your character. For the sake of this guide, I will assume that you've already run through the tutorial and have a basic understanding of the controls. So we're going to skip the tutorial and go straight into Trouble Valley. I selected Standard Difficulty as that's the default starting level for the game. Now there is a reason why I selected Trumbull Valley and not Providence Ridge where the tutorial starts you. Even if your community is not tied to the starting tutorial, as long as you've upgraded to Command Center 2, you can unlock the exit maps and jump on over to Trumbull Valley. The reason for Trumbull Valley is a quest line that gives you a free Red Talon Soldier. More on that later. If you've already completed the game, you'll have the opportunity to have up to two boons depending on which leaders completed it. Warlord gives you mobilization. Builder gives you amenities. Trader gives you favors and Sheriff gives you charity. With mobilization you receive a giant pile of guns, ammo, and grenades when you settle your first home. Amenities you get base-wide power and water at any base with no fuel cost or threat. Favors you receive a visit from a friendly trader and 4,000 influence after you settle your first base. Charity you receive a pile of high-quality loot from old friends once a day. Most believe amenities and favors are two to shoot for. However, I believe amenities and charities do more in the long term. For this guide, I'm not picking any as you won't have any to begin with either. Back to character creation. You can either recruit legacy survivors from your pool if you have one or generate three new ones. For this guide, I'm looking for three specific skills. Craftsmanship for construction to upgrade a storage three for materials, computers for command station three, and mechanics for workshop three. You can probably tell by the rate at which I'm clicking, the only skill I'm looking at right now is the bottom skill. All the rest of them can be upgraded as you play the game. But right now, I'm just looking at the bottom skill. If you don't see a fifth skill down there and it's empty, that means that you can train it with whatever you find in the game. But in order to do that, you actually have to be in the game and locate a training manual. Let's take a look at Fonzie's character screen. At the top, you'll see anything that is affecting his health, stamina, or morale. Next is his standing in the community. You start out as a recruit, then move to citizen, and then on to hero. And it shows you the bonuses that you get with that. Here, he would be a builder if he was a leader. Next are the traits. You will see here kind of an interesting backstory and things that do affect the skills. With the main skills, cardio starts out. and That's why I have you do the sprinting and the running everywhere you go. Climbing can also help level that. Are we having fun yet? Wits, that's where you're going to get your stealth from. So stealth kills and any type of searching containers, that can level that. If you can get stealth when it's time to, to specialize, that would be preferable because then you could run while stealth. Fighting may come down more to personal preference. I personally like sword play, so if that's an option, I'm always going with that and bladed weapons. In my opinion, shooting is less preference. I, I think Gunslinger is a must-have because it provides the aim snap. Aim snap allows you to quickly acquire your target and shoot him in the head, and that's pretty much mandatory and lethal, um, if not even before then. And 
and then what's called your fifth skill. These are community skills that help the entire community. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video on base building.